every podcast is like a painting. To ask the right question, how beautiful this is, is a masterpiece. I feel like a painter. You know, all the times, I'm sorry guys, my paintings looks bad. <laughs> learning shouldn't be the thing in itself. People learn when they are trying to do something else. Like learning is coming from the window, not from the main door. Knowledge is kind of part of you. It comes a part of you. So yeah. I don't feel that I'm more knowledgeable than the previous year. Actually, I feel I'm less knowledgeable than the previous year. But you are a different person. This will be a fun episode of talking about the whole year of podcasting 2023. And I have next to me the brains behind our podcast. My teacher and Jesus. Hello, guys. Hello. <laughs> They're not going to ask us, who are we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we start the podcast with, who are we? Not this question, man. <laughs> <laughs> poor, poor guest when you ask them. So, <laughs> tell very briefly. What? Who I am? I'm Fidia's teacher. That's it. That defines me. <laughs> yes. He's the cleverest person I found that he wants to teach me. Yeah, but I'm not the cleverest person, man. Don't call me clever. I mean, I'm not clever. I have other qualities, but not clever. What is the quality that you have? I think I have, really, I, I think I have good imagination and most of all, very good curiosity. But not, I don't think I'm very clever, really. I'm very bad technical skills. You need to put it like this. Like, yeah, oh, it's, it's pointing to your mouth. It's oh, pointing. It's, so it's, it's important, it's even the direction. <laughs> I'm terrible in technology and experimental physics even. I'm very theoretical. Right? So, yes, yes, that's what and I am. Why are you doing, why are you interested in this podcasting concept? In general or now why I came here? No, gen in general, because you are the reason we started this podcast in the first place. I, but I didn't know it. <laughs> it happened naturally. So why I'm interested in podcasting? First of all, I'm, I'm, I'm a teacher, so I like people learning so and i think is one of the best ways that humanity invented so far is watching podcasts instead of going to school <laughs> maybe so i I, th i really think that is that is the future of education is this kind of stuff not just podcasting but yeah we start already talking about deep deep things on podcasting we're going to move now to jesus yeah, to say okay. who he is I'm Jesus, the podcast editor of Fidias. And that's it. That's my 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 job. So it defines you like it me. defines me. Like completely. Fidias teacher defines me. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, like Fidias. I'm like a category under Fidias. <laughs> okay. <yeah. laughs> this defines me in every aspect of your life. life. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So and, and if you're wondering about my dress, it's like I'm launching a new monastic order, <laughs> the, Barbie, the Barbie monks, <laughs> especially the color. No, it's because it's cold actually. I like, no, it's cozy. So yeah, okay. So, Jesus, tell, explain them what you are doing for the podcast. Accept that I need to like, explain a bit more. Uh, for a long time I was with the shorts as well as editing the, the podcast. And now we are, we are like more like managing and thinking like every week we have a meeting on how we can improve, how we can make the podcast better, like thinking about the intro, the, the text that we put in the thumbnails, everything to try to make this podcast flourish. The title. The title. Yeah. It's a big thing. <laughs> it's a big thing, yeah. So basically he managed all the podcast titles, thumbnails, what clips we're going to cut from the podcast, what shorts we're going to do. And he's an amazing editor. He's a very good storyteller. He's a very good filmmaker as well. So- An amazing uh, intellectual. So- Wannabe. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's an intellectual. I'm growing a- I'm a wannabe intellectual as well. So. <laughs> I'm also a wannabe intellectual <laughs> somehow. Uh, Maybe we should rename the, the podcast to Wannabe Intellectual. <laughs> the Wannabes. <laughs> so how, much more. how you got into podcasting, Jesus, yourself? I think I didn't get into podcasting. Like, Before? Uh, 
But before no. you, you was into Portugal. Before I, I was here, like I, I didn't know so much. Like I, mo I was more into entertainment podcasting. And, like I was watching, I think David Dobrik. Sometimes I, I watch Logan Paul, and from time to time I, I watch Lex Friedman, but without knowing that I was watching Lex Friedman. It was just a guy talking to. <laughs> to, to an interesting guy. Interesting guy. Interesting guy. And um, not Joe Rogan. What? Joe Rogan, I never like watch a properly like podcast of Joe Rogan. I only watch like some clips that went viral and so on. Okay. But I think it was from from starting to work in this this channel that, that I you started. seriously started to be interested. Yeah. But now you are watching other podcasts apart from Fidias, like normally I try, but my main podcast. Um, Watch time is Fidias. Uh -huh. like, like the listeners as well. You, you, you are not like when we are looking for the titles of the episode, you are not like researching the persons and watch other episodes of them with, in other podcast channels. And you're, because I'm doing this sometimes. I don't. Okay. Yeah, but you are not involved in, in, the, in the time before the podcast. Like to no, I'm, to you are in the pre-production. Yeah, yeah. And I'm more but like why not? After. I mean, not to look for the guests who will be the guests. It's interesting, guys. Like here in this conversation, we're going to find out a lot about how we do things. Like we're going to reflect as well on the past year. But the guest that we bring is mostly uh, my, my, my teacher. My name is teacher. Don't my teacher wrote the names. We have like a list of 500 names that my teacher wanted to interview. Yeah. And I had like probably another addition of 50, 100 names. But yeah, so we have another person that we need to give a shout out to Jacob, that he's emailing people uh, and he arranged the podcast for uh, them to happen. Not and only emailing, also choosing people. I mean, he's all active, he's helping me to choose the people, and not just emailing. I mean, he's also an intellectual. Wanna be intellectual uh, yeah, like course. us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, then we are more like we are scheduling a lot of podcasts in a week, like five, six podcasts uh, or 10, 12 sometimes in three, four days. And then I'm doing three per day. And then we have for the next month podcast. This is kind of the yeah. concept. And then Jesus, uh, after I feel Jesus takes Take, them, takes over. He makes the uh, uh, short form content. He was making short form content out of them as well. He's putting all the camera angles. He's making the intro. So I wanted to tell us feedback about our intros. We recently changed them and we saw a lot of uh, people really like them and people watch double the time the podcast now because just we changed the intro yeah, we're making more funky which is uh, very interesting that uh, we're learning we're amateurs still we're one and a half years old yeah but the thing that we knew that how important is the intro from the beginning because you are a youtuber and you know about this stuff but we needed but we didn't know how does that translate to podcasting yeah yeah, yeah. It, it was more about the style because before we were also putting uh, like effort in the intro, but we didn't see really. But how this happened now, this recent, I mean, it's because you studied some intros and you yeah. saw how. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I studied some uh, intros of, uh, but also you as well you wanted yeah, to make like a salad of all the podcasts and like into, mm -hmm. but I, I think if you add music and you add all suspense because Jesus is an amazing actor, he can, uh, it actually doesn't seem like just grabbing clips from random parts. It seems like it flows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it sparks your curiosity and then you are curious to see the rest of the podcast. By the way, we're speaking now as an expert or something and we don't We get... absolutely have no idea. <laughs> just we playing. only have like 500, 1000 views <laughs> on average. And, and, and we're just playing. I don't think we have any expertise whatsoever. Just our 100% amateur. And also another <laughs> thing that is important to add that even if we never get successful out of it, it's still good as an activity by itself. Of course. So we are satisfied by the whole journey. We don't want to reach a goal. This is enough for us to be learning and stuff. It would be nice to make money out of it. And like, because we lost probably more than 50,000 so far <laughs> in the podcast. You lost, I mean, we only gained. 
<laughs> only gain knowledge. <laughs> so thank you for sp- sponsoring our knowledge and learning. <laughs> you sponsor, guys, my knowledge because without you, this was not going to be possible. But so. money-wise, it's just you, Pogger. <laughs> Yeah, but well, the most This important currency that we have is my time. So time and and learning. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, no, but it's, it's much different the experience of being active in podcasting than before. I was just passively watching. What's the difference? It's different. I don't know. It's okay. It's more natural now. I'm, I'm searching for for like w- when you are going to to. I mean, I, I send you material to prepare you about the guests and it's different to, to say, it's more genuine. Like, and it's, it's interesting when you have other goals, like my goal now is not to watch the podcast and learn, my goal is like to make the episode good. So if you are following another goal, then learning comes more natural. And you know what I mean? It, it, it shouldn't be, I mean, always I believe like learning, it shouldn't be the, the thing in itself. All, I think people learn when they're, trying to do something else. It's more natural in order to focus in learning itself. You have a phrase in Greek as well about that. Which is the phrase? The information comes from the window, not the door. Yeah, but this, this is our, it's not a phrase. It's, we say this, it's our <laughs> idea. I, don't think, I didn't hear it. I mean, we, we did develop it ourselves. <laughs> like learning is coming from the window, not from the main door. Like, like formal education, uh, so, um, assumes that you teach people and, and they focus in the things that they have to learn and then this is the way they learn, which is not, I don't think it's a natural way. The natural way is to search for something else and then learning comes from the window. That's what, that's what we mean what, when we say this. And for example, what, what you mean is, for example, uh, you have, for example, well, I said three, for example, in like 10 seconds. Wow, for example, <laughs> Uh, you, you have Sugada Mitra, uh, which was one of the guests that we had. And then he's saying that he's always sending me questions uh, to ask or topics to open with the, the guest. Me. Yes, you, yeah, an yeah. email. And this is kind of my preparation of me watching some of the videos that he's sending me. So when you are actively thinking about the questions, when you think about this thing, it's more natural than just to listen to the podcast. And also yeah, when yeah. you are researching, when you see the podcast uh, after and you are editing it, sometimes if you like it with Jesus and you are telling him, put this picture here, put this picture here, you go on Wikipedia and you find another exactly, article. Yeah, yeah. And like, this is kind of, Uh, this is what you mean by the natural way. You are not trying to learn, but you are trying to do something that is fun and cur- out of curiosity and learning comes along the way. Yeah, even Elon Musk said it one time that um, about the schools that he organized for, for his children, because Elon Musk's children don't go in regular schools. They're, they're going in schools that Elon Musk organized, especially for this. And, and he said once, like, if, if you want to teach the children how to use a screwdriver, You're not make you are not making you're not going to make a lesson about screwdriver and this is a screwdriver and this is how you look you 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 use it and these are the parts of a screwdriver. You just just tell them to fix a car and then screwdriver will come naturally in their life. You know what I mean? So it, it's this principle in general. So now we are like I don't know about you, Jesus. I mean, by editing the podcast. By, it's not like a more fun way, a more natural way to learn than to just focus on the podcast itself because you want to learn about the universe or yeah, about black course. holes or about whatever. Yeah. Because I have to edit the podcast anyway. I need to listen to it. Yeah, yeah but you, it's so. more natural way t- trying to do the editing and then the information comes from the window as well. It's like a byproduct of editing. Yeah, yeah, learning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 learning is a byproduct. Do you have the same experience that she's describing? Yeah, I agree with what you say. Like, Instead of just, now I'm going to watch a podcast. Yeah, yeah for sure. It, yeah, so, so, so it's good as a saying, like, uh, learning is a byproduct. Just this. Learning is a byproduct. Always, yeah. Of curiosity or of something else. Yeah. yeah. I think with everything, like, uh, when politicians tra- try to make a policy to solve a problem, normally they are focusing too much on the problem and they are like, oh, we are doing this very exact thing to solve this problem. 
but it's actually not maybe not helping because it's so focused on solving that problem yeah, yeah, yeah. that it's completely missing the mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah. Mm. Can you think, elaborate more? Think, on this? I'm trying to to think about an example, like mm. think about the Podemos. <laughs> you, you, you're Spanish. <laughs> Uh, right now, I'm a bit drunk, but... Always when you try to find an example, the example don't yes. come. <laughs> <laughs> like, no. For example, about the use of drugs or about, uh, I don't know, like uh, sexism in, in schools, let's say. Mm -hmm. Maybe they are trying, I don't know, to, to, to do a, a very specific norm that is not oh, going so to So you are basically saying that when you are trying to do one thing, uh, you are actually not achieving it. For example, if I am, Same. I want to learn, uh, and I just go with the way, uh, the mindset to learn. I'm not going to achieve it. I will achieve learning if I'm going to do it along. Uh, yeah, then he yeah. gives so, another example of the position. Yeah. Oh, for example, but, when uh, this is something I always think, like people making a documentary about a certain topic. Mm -hmm. Only the people interested in the topic are going to watch the documentary. So you are not going to convince about a climate change or on, on any other policy to the people that are not believing in climate change because they are not going to watch the documentary, maybe. So mm -hmm. I think to convince people about things you want to, to share, you need to do it the other way. That's why I like your videos, because it's like, oh, it's entertainment, but it's like um, uh, this like Trojan... Uh, Trojan horse. horse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's like it's uh, entertainment, but in disguise, inside, disguise, in disguise, you maybe yeah. find out like, oh, maybe people are actually nice. I think that they are all terrible, but they are actually nice. If you make a video about no guys, people are nice, and this is why, and this is a list. You're not going to the convince a lot not, of people. Will not pass, yeah. But with these videos, maybe traveling around, seeing how people are so helpful, you will realize by itself, oh. I'm learning that people are actually yeah. nice and most people are actually going to help me if I have a problem in my, in my life. People don't like to, to tell them what to do. They want to find it out by themselves. Yes. So if you call it like, this is a video about why people are nice, it, it's not like they discover it. It's like somebody come and teaches them. Mm -hmm. and, and we come again in the education thing. When somebody come to teach me, especially these things, it's like I'm reacting, I don't want to learn. But it must come natural. Yeah. So the people watch a video about traveling across whatever for free and they realize by themselves, ah, people are actually nice. Look how they help this guy. Yeah. But what do you think about, for example, the viewers that are listening now? Hi Should guys. they stop watching podcasts and try to actively like? No, no, I don't, I don't mean that. I just, I'm, we're just telling my experience. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's but not you still advice. watch podcasts. Yeah, I watch, but I found it much more enjoyable and natural. Maybe it's, it's, maybe it's my character more, more this reactive, and I don't like people mm. to tell me what to do. Maybe it's, it's not, it's, this doesn't apply to anyone. And sometimes with podcasting, for example, the, the podcast is so good that you feel that you are active in the process. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. But uh, maybe it's a part, it's my character, so I don't like really. To watch people, I want to be more active in general. I don't like to watch Gen football. Whenever he is listening podcasts, guys, he's doing all the jobs in the house. Always, he yeah. He cannot listen to something and not do anything. Really? Yeah, I don't. I don't enjoy. <laughs> I enjoy it when I, I I just listening to it and in my with my like uh, like um, what do you call it? not the AirPods <laughs> headphones <laughs> headset whatever anyway. And I'm always cleaning the house. I'm doing washing the dishes and and I enjoy it much more like this I don't know, because I'm focusing on other things and really when I it's a good podcast then the house is clean up <laughs> I focus <laughs> more when you are not yeah when, completely focusing yeah, yeah I'm focusing <laughs> more when I'm not completely focused I think many people may have this even in the classroom I see with with students when they are doing something else and they are playing drawing something else whatever we think that they are not focused and sometimes the teacher are Shouting at them and say, well, we have to focus, but maybe they learn more like that when they're. Anyway, yeah. What, what is some uh, uh, breakthroughs that you had in your life because of the podcast? I have this, this year. Breakthroughs? 
Oh, Jesus has uh, <laughs> bare foot shoes because of Thanks the podcast. Chris. For example, yeah. <laughs> Thanks to his one. podcast that we did with an expert ah. about bare foot shoes. Ah, you mean so practical? Thing. No, not so practical. Maybe philosophical, maybe something. Oh, philosophical you know. is a lot. Dozens, thousands, I don't know. Because <laughs> all So many ideas. Come on, I cannot start now naming them. I mean, so many things. I can't, I can't find out that many, many, I mean, just always, nonstop. I can't imagine, I can't think of one now. I always um, found new ideas and that very interesting. And I can't start now thinking, I mean, always, this is constant. Constantly happen all the time. You can't you can found something else, like yeah. an idea, not like, like my favorite part of a podcast like ever is the one with Bernardo Castrap, where he's talking about the voice of nature. And I don't know, it, it touched a, a lot to me. Like this is like a bit of a new age. Shout out to Bernardo yeah. Castro, the, our most famous, <laughs> best guest, the nicest person ever. Yeah. And, and yeah. like he was talking about the vicious circle, how we sometimes sabotage ourselves and how, uh, yeah, like we need to, try. now I don't remember actually. <laughs> I, do, I, I do remember, I, I, remember I, can, I, I can explain, yeah, uh, explain it touched it. me as well. He said that when you are doing uh, something that uh, uh, the nature, the planet wants you, you feel it, uh, something right. It's like your moral compass, you, you know that this is right. You feel it, uh, that this is what you are meant to be. And you feel a part of a, of, of a bigger thing. Yes, as well. and you yeah. feel a part of a bigger thing. And this is what, how he lives his life. He says that uh, he doesn't like doing the podcasts, but because he feels when he does them, he's contributing to this bigger thing mm -hmm. that nature wants him to do. Is, uh, yeah, I don't know if I de de diminish the, the idea by no, explaining it. <laughs> no, 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 it's, uh, I think this, this is what he meant. Yeah, f for me in that podcast, for example, uh, what was like uh, enlightening was how simply he said that, uh, okay, he's an idealist. So he believed that the universe is mental, like the reality is mental. And, and the way he described like, uh, Anything, anything what we have from this world is mental. Even something that I touch that is so solid that I touch it and I think that this is matter. What I get from this thing is mental. It's, it's, it's my idea of touching it. So, so it's much more uh, like uh, parsimonious and economic to say that everything is mental because all we have is mental. We don't have a, a direct access to the physical world. So it's as simple as that. Okay, I have my mental world, like my thoughts, my feelings that are obviously mental, but even the things that, the information that I get from the, from the physical world, like the five senses, like smell, like, uh, like vision, and especially even touch, when you touch something, what you get is still mental. You don't touch the thing in itself. The feeling of touch is mental. So if everything we have is mental, the way he described it was very, very enlightened for me. Like it was like an, an aha moment for me. It was like, obviously, all what I have from this world is mental. It's just the information I get from stuff. So why, why to assume that the world is, is material or physical? And then suppose that, that, the, the, that like the mental or consciousness is, is like a, an emergent phenomenon of that and not the other way around because really what we have in our hands, what we really have is, is mental. It's just the, the ideas of things, not the thing in themselves. So it's much more natural to be an idealist and believe that all what exists is all what I have from this reality, which is mental, instead of the other way around. Because direct access, we only have in mental things. And the way you put it, like open my eyes and say, wow, it's so simple to, I mean, idealism is just so much more natural. It's more conservative to think that you're uh, that everything's metal than to think that everything's material. It's more more parsimonious, more like more economic. Yeah. And if we think like if we have to choose between the the like okay, you you can say we have these three ideas. Like, like the one is like idealism that everything is metal. The other is physicalism that everything is physical. And the other, that, the other theory that is dualism, that they're both. Mm. 
Okay, if you want to exclude dualism because it's not because of the Occam's razor, like you always choose the most simple explanation, then you have to choose between materialism, like physicalism, and and the uh, idealism, and you have to have to choose between the two. I, I choose idealism because what I really have in my life is 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 mental. Even f even physical world comes to me in in a mental in a mental form inside me because i don't have direct access to the the objects i have only the feelings and and the and the the senses the information that comes to me which is mental so all i see around me is mental even the touch all i experience is mental so if i have to choose between the two it's obvious that i will choose the mental because it's the only thing i have direct access to if i got it right then. And, and after this podcast, I realized that it's as simple as that. Why being an idealist and not a physicalist? Yeah. And not denying that there is a physical physical world. No, it's denying it. I mean, we don't know what the reality is. Whatever it is the reality, what we have from this reality is mental. What we have direct access is mental. What is the actual reality? We, we don't know. But what we have from this reality is mental. So why not starting from from idealism? Because it's, it's the thing that we really have indirect in to us, and starting from materialism, which is or physical, which is not the thing that we have direct. Whatever the reality is, who knows? I mean, the deep, deepest, deepest reality. We never. Maybe there's no way to have an access to. Maybe there's no deeper reality. You know. But to understand that we live in a shared world, like obviously our experiences. Uh, mental, but it's still like when I touch you and you touch me, we, we are sharing something. But it's, it's not mental. only. But, but what do you share? It's mental. Yes. It's, it's, you don't touch my body. You touch my body, whatever happened. But what you get from this is the idea of touching, not the body of itself. In itself, you know that. You get the feeling. Yeah. It's consciousness when you. Yeah, it's consciousness. Yeah, 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 when touch. I touch you, you feel that like I do. I am yes, you. Okay. you feel you, you said feel. the right yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. so, so yes. but touch. There, there is a sh shared space or a shared something a shared network yeah, we, that we don't know what it is so what basically he's saying he's saying is uh, we have two options here we have the physical uh, world or the mental world which one we choose it's kind of uh, not the most obvious answer is to choose the mental yeah. one because everything that you have is mental. Like this, the feeling yeah. that I had is come mental. It's not physical, the feeling that I had because it's creating in, in my head. So he's just saying, if I had to choose one of the two, I'm going to choose the mental yeah, one yeah. because it's more uh, more what kind of I'm experiencing in a way. I agree, I agree. In, like, like, in Bar first like Barclay put it like hundreds of years ago, to be is to be perceived. I mean, for something to exist, is, is like to perceive it, which is going close to quantum mechanics philosophy again, that, that, that the, the electron has a position only when you perceive the position, only when you measure it, when you observe it, which is like, it's like uh, we only have the ideas of the things, not the things in themselves. And who knows at the end of the day what the reality is. Maybe reality is not mental, it's not, it's not physical, it's something much more deep and who knows what, but mm -hmm. if you have to choose between the two, the only two options that we have from the maybe millions of options that goes beyond mental or physical or who knows whatever else. Beyond could imagination. Be, could be beyond imagination. Yeah, queerer than we could imagine, <laughs> uh, as we say. If I have to choose between the, the only two options that I have, I choose the mental because it's the only thing I have direct access to it. What happens after it, who knows? The deepest of the deepest of reality. Yeah. Which according to Gödel's incompleteness theory, maybe we can never have access to it. Because we always have to always have to invent more new theories in order to understand what what exists. Anyway. Well, one thing that I understood about in this year is I understood kind of how knowledge works in a way. I don't feel that I have more knowledge now. Uh, after one year, but it's kind of knowledge is kind of, it's kind of a part of you. It comes a part of you. Of you. Yeah. So I don't feel that I'm more knowledgeable than the previous year. Actually, I feel I'm less knowledgeable than the previous but year. But you are a different person. <laughs> it, 
Because if the knowledge becomes a part of you and it's not outside you anymore. So that's why you feel. That's interesting. So you, you feel that there is like less knowledge because the knowledge that you gained became a part of you and you don't see it anymore. Maybe something like that. So you, you are not the same Fidias like you was one year ago. Yes, and it's like, it's fascinating, like how, how much education you get out of this stuff. We learn about these crazy philosophies, we learn about physical, we learn a lot about politics. It's like, yeah, I still can't believe it that all these people are coming to the podcast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's the, also interesting. <laughs> Why do they want to come? If they see the, this lo long With one illiterate, stupid, uh, silly <laughs> boy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's interesting yeah. why they, they want to come to people that they get like millions of views in other podcasts and they're so much eager to come. I don't know why, why really, what's the motivation behind them? I and mean, you have to ask them this question. What the heck makes you come here? And, and also, so one, of one of the things that I, I really fell in love with it, uh, I feel like a painter. A podcast is a painting. It's like, for example, in Bernardo Castro, one, when he was emotional, he was crying a bit about Ukraine. Yeah. The way that he was touched by the conversation. He, I feel like he really enjoyed the conversation and I did too. And like the audience loved it. And like, they, yeah, that's why the one has like 35,000 views, which is so much for a podcast about <laughs> physics. Not the, the, the word is not uh, as, as we believe. The yeah, it's not the most, the most popular subject. Yeah, it's not, <laughs> So I, I feel that how beautiful this is, it's a masterpiece, like to ask the right question, the right, mm -hmm. it's like you're painting, every, every podcast is like a painting. And all of the times, I'm sorry guys, my paintings looks bad, <laughs> but. I don't know if they look bad, I mean, for, for me, I mean, the, 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 the Castra episode was not way much better than other episodes. I mean, if you see like Sugata Mitra's episode, which was equally enlightening, Yes, for That's me only as well. 200, only 200. I mean, I, I study so much this guy and I, and your episode was, was way more enlightened than any other episode. Maybe because I designed the question. <laughs> so, <I don't> <laughs> <laughs> but it was not, but it was, it was not my question. I mostly was just other things that, I mean, it, it was the best of him ever I saw in this episode. And because it has only like 300, I don't know how many. Uh, which is for me, it's, it's equally good. So uh, it, okay, the, the, the views is like, uh, it's also how, how the algorithm thinks and how- The, the popularity of a person. Uh, the person who knows, and, and other, other things that we don't know because it's, it's all about the algorithm at the end of the day. Why the algorithm they recommend it and to who they, it recommends it. But, but it's insane to see like 300 views and then 30,000, I mean, which is way much more. And the episodes are equally good. I mean, Definitely are equally good. Anyway, so what do you want to say about? It? You don't think it's it's crazy? I mean, yeah, it's crazy. Like, how how you two work? Biggest mis biggest mystery than the philosophical world the, and the mental. The biggest world. mystery is how the algorithm how thinks. How the algorithm <laughs> works for podcasts. Yeah. I think it's it's wildly <laughs> logarithmic. It's wildly yes. logarithmic. It's like a little bit different makes it like. I don't know. I don't know. It's crazy. I mean, wh why is yesterday, yesterday we were looking at the analytics and so on, and they are like amazingly good. Like people are watching average 20 minutes of, of the podcast. Of which one? Of Recently we've been doing very well. We have been doing very well. Like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I were like thinking, at least I'm thinking like, how? But why is not promoted? Why is not promoted? I mean, but uh, fixed time, time, bro. Like we want to do this but for why, one why and a half cast, year. Cast what made Castro episode so I successful? I don't know. Probably after 1,100 ep episodes, you win one time the Yeah, but course. analytic wise, can you see the, the reason? It's more watch time, it's more something. It's more watch time, it's like 18 Not and a really. half minutes, and also good but, click through rate, which is five. But it's much different than the others. Not so different. That the others that they are equally yeah, good. Yeah, I agree with you. It's like it's not really if the one is like three percent better, it doesn't uh, with ten times, twelve hundred times more views. Man, the Anil Seth, for example, which is exactly the same subject, I mean, philosophy of mind and mind body problem, hundred percent, and it was equally good. It was amazing this episode. Right? It was very good. Very good. Very good. What sell the analytics of this one? Are very different than also they are high. It's yeah. the same audience, I'm sure. I'm sure people, by the way, we should organize. Anil said Castro would be like amazing. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I, I haven't seen them together, these two guys. I'm 
but we propose to Anisef to do with uh, with uh, Ho- Donna Hoffman. She didn't want. Yeah, what he did in the past. But, but he... now that we, I know him a bit more. I think it can work. Yeah, but I think Castro Castro said will be like. Yeah, I agree. I never saw them together. I, mean, I would love to see them even more than 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 Hoffman, which is my biggest hero. <laughs> yeah. No, I think now they are equal. I mean. With Kastrab and... Kastrab and Hoffman, I don't know which one is my biggest hero, as an, <laughs> as an idealist, I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but... Uh, no, but it would be great if you can have these two together. Because Anil Seth is also so good communicator. And also was my best best episode of Anil Seth was your, your one. It was so, amazing, it was amazing. So how do... Uh, We are not always only are doing about philosophy stuff uh, and science that we're doing about politics sometimes we're doing about military history like how do you think about the direction of the of this year and what topics you think was success for example we know that porn stars work <laughs> in the <laughs> actually it was interesting also I, i didn't really enjoy them so much sports but it was also interesting <laughs> also interesting to see you how you react with them and how, how you become a different person. i even watch those <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> no it, f- for me it's interesting to study you as a as a, as a subject i mean to, to study you how you develop because I know you so well. So it's, another thing for me is interesting to see how Fidias will be with this guest, how Fidias will be mm-hmm. that. Maybe, maybe, you know, maybe, maybe guests, maybe the viewers are also interested. Like for example, let, let's say Lex Friedman podcast. I'm sure always the viewers are always focused to see ah, how Friedman will be with this guest. Uh-huh. Because it's so personal. Yeah, you sent me an email, as I remember, you said, Actually, the, the the host is the guest. Yeah, in some podcasts, the host is the guest. Like Me- Lex Friedman is very much like Meaning this. that you want to see Lex Friedman, how will be with Elon Musk. Yeah, yeah. How will you want be with to see case, Lex Friedman, how will be with Jordan Peterson, in a way. So it's like... Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I like to see... Yeah, to see how he will it's not like oh it's jordan pierce it's like oh my god is this duo to, to get, yeah is this duo equally as, uh, and, as and for me you are also like this because i i know you and i study you so long <laughs> and i think sometimes it shows as well with the view for example the porn star maybe people are curious to see how the this stupid youtuber will react to the porn yeah, star or how lex Friedman will be with the porn star yeah. did he ever had a Ayala, yeah he but had she's a, a Porn star. She's an intellectual porn star. But she's a porn star or she's more like she's a, doing a sex worker kind of? Only fans and all this stuff, which I think it's, it's you can't say that almost, she's a porn Almost the she same. Did, yeah. yeah, but she's very intellectual. <laughs> and she, she was amazing. Yeah, By the way, we're talking, I'm not sure if everyone knows about all the stuff that we're talking about. Yeah, what's, she going, had, what's her name? Going, said, yeah, we will. Ayala. So, it's like so interesting to see a, a woman so intellectual and also so sexy I mean, a woman is like is not the, a woman the woman. ultimate attractiveness i don't know for me you are, you are, you are sexist now i mean <laughs> women are so intellectual but 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 such kind of a woman like, and also so sexy i mean yeah. a combination, <laughs> a combination <laughs> yeah yeah okay <laughs> maybe we'll start a, a new genre of intellectual porn <laughs> 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 like like d- during the intercourse they talk about the philosophy of mind <laughs> uh, yeah so, like so how ide- idealist porn like the, like <laughs> two spirits are having sex <laughs> <laughs> well we're doing this this idea is having sex idea having sex is not porn yes it is. <laughs> <laughs> idea having sex is Matt Riddler what's his name yeah I think this is the the big breakthrough of this year what ideas the ideas having, having sex i mean we didn't do ideas having sex but we should people remember. talking to each other like the three oh yeah and, yeah 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 like, it understand. was so successful when we have in two people on a podcast oh, okay. Oh, yeah 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 it yeah it was the, like on general like we get 300 views uh 500 views a video and it's like uh, on youtube And when we did this thing, it has like the one with Bernardo Castro and I below has like 15,000. Yeah. And the other <laughs> one with Ben Kozel and Robin Hanson has like now two, three thousand is moving up fast that we did recently. So I think moving with the new year, we should kind of prioritize this and make uh-huh. it like as a... Yeah. And this is like a different kind 
of work of podcast. I think when in one with one, it's more about the question that you're asking and so on. But with this, it's like more of a curator of finding two people that it's will work more together. About the, like, it's not so much the about magic you. happens on the match. Uh-huh. Yeah, but the still you, have, the, you still have a role to play. Yes, I know, I know. Because they're know. trying to convince you somehow. Because you are the, like... Yeah, the judge and the jury. Kind of, yeah, yeah. So the, the more stupid you are, the better. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the ideas having sex are kind of breakthrough in this because you are not the first people who do debates. But the idea is that to bring people from different fields, like that they seemingly... Yes. Which we didn't really manage to do it so much. Okay, kind of, but... I would but it like was uh, Robin Hanson, which is an economist with uh, an AI expert. But he was also before. I know said, he's also t- he had a book about AI. About so. AI, but also the physicalist and uh, uh, which is uh, Avi Loeb. Yeah, with Avi Loeb. An idealist. Yeah, okay. Avi Loeb is not in. No, Avi Loeb is a physicalist, but he's not a physicalist philosopher directly. Yes. So he's not a conscious physicalist. So that was kind of a, an interesting. Also, but match. it didn't really work so much because he didn't talk about the philosophy of mind. Yeah, but it was uh, I, I me it this type of. V- podcast say so much about the person that you cannot of course get. Yeah. Yeah. like this is the way to meet one person to have him uh, in a conversation like i learned so much about avi loeb and bernardo castrap in that conversation and also with ben Gonzel and uh, yeah. robin hasson which was i i didn't see so, so much information reveal about the character of a person before especially avi loeb especially avi loeb, yes <laughs> no i was i was shocked when he couldn't really understand the point of i mean he's, he's such a brilliant scientist such a brilliant scientist but in philosophy he was so like like he didn't really he seemed to not understand what we mean when we say consciousness almost you know in, in the philosophy of mind when, when bernardo was trying to to talk to him about his stuff because the podcast was mostly about Avi's stuff. stuff. Okay, it's because also Bernardo is so empathetic. So he let him talk because yeah. he- <laughs> before I Before I went on a podcast with Bernardo Castro, guys, and Avi Loeb, Bernardo was uh, first and I would talk for two, three minutes and I told him that oh, because uh, Avi Loeb has a book, we're going to talk a bit more about his book and stuff too. And Bernardo said, uh, it's not a problem, no problem. But my, my publicists are so mad at me. I have also a lot of books <laughs> and, I never talk. and I never talk about <laughs> <them>. <laughs> But yeah, he was so nice to go along with the flow. It's yeah, so yeah, yeah. To see. Yeah, then I, I was shocked that he was almost not understanding what consciousness is for Bernardo Castro. He couldn't really follow his. I mean, he, he, I couldn't imagine that he's so much out the mind body problem and philosophy, such a brilliant scientist, I mean, which I admire anyway. Anyways, yeah. But it was very interesting to discover their personality. I mean, yeah, you agree with me that you are discovering Of course, yeah, yeah. When, when you put them together, like two intellectuals together, then, then, a semi-literate silly boy and an intellectual. Yeah, because everything <laughs> that they say is smart, they're kind to me, they're open enough, but uh, you really discover that yeah, yeah. true self. You Especially know. with uh, Robin Hanson and Ben Wetzel, when you had their separate podcast and they were talking, maybe they they say some something that it's like very radical or something that people are not really... And I, I let it sleep. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. when you have another person... Is they like, are going to continue like, talking, this is the most Ga- false thing they Guys, they are going to continue talking. I'm going to pee and come back. I also want to pee. Are we allowed to pee? Should we pee all the three of us? Together? Yeah, <laughs> together. With, with the uh, viewers <laughs> watching. Yeah. yeah. I think it's another thing that I really liked is like even in... Like we had historians, we had from all the academia spectrum. Let's sure, say. we do. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> our gallery is rich. <laughs> yeah, like but all of them were like saying the same thing when they were asked about funding, about all of these things. Like, what to use the funding for? For curiosity uh-huh. research, you curiosity-driven mean, research. You mean the the question at the end or? It, uh, or in it, general. it usually came up with the how to spend that trillion Yeah, yeah, dollars. that's what I mean, the, the question at the end. Yes. Yeah. So it, they were saying like all of them, like more curiosity driven. Than uh, doing stuff like doing roads and, and bridges. and Exactly. Like, or, or to like to have a research to find something. Yeah, yeah. No, to just, 
True. You have money and try to find something, but I don't care what you find, but you will find something interesting yeah. maybe. Which, which is so, so genuine. I like it so much. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay, sometimes they say to find something in order to help humanity yeah. in general, but <laughs> but because you don't know what will help humanity yeah. as- And what will break humanity with artificial intelligence. As our hero Stanley would say. Yes, Ken Stanley, another amazing podcast. As well. Yeah, it was so good, yeah. Uh, also, another thing that I wanted to it's point- an amazing person. I, another thing that I wanted to point out is that we started this year and we were doing uh, in real life podcast. I was traveling, oh. I was going to the houses and it was really, uh, before uh, this, uh, it w- we didn't have actually a lot of, uh, it was some YouTubers and all this stuff, but this is the first time that we actually did. And I went to travel to their places and I saw, met them in their house, met them in their offices, and you get a lot of information about the person, about the space that they're working, the space that they choose, their house. Sometimes which, you stayed overnight, even to some of them. Yes, yes, some <laughs> people like hosted me, and that was an education by itself. For you. For, for me, like a different, like more aesthetically. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Not like just aesthetic, f- full flesh. I mean, for me, it was like I, I was, uh, what's the guy about the education? Ah, the, Peter, Peter Gray. Gray. Peter Gray. I was like, so far, I was in his house. They hosted me for like five, six hours. We were talking about, they gave me lunch. We sat down, he did so, show me some books that I, I should read. And I, the way that I had, to, it was amazing uh, to like see them. In, in their in, everyday in their life. ML, like it's so and Did you stay in, overnight to it? No, I didn't stay. You stayed in Lenore Kenazi? Lenore, Lenore, and some some other, I think, uh, or mm-hmm. maybe for more. The, also, I went to Avi Loeb's house, and it was he said that it's the fr- I was the first person that I ever interviewed him mm-hmm. in his house. Wow! So <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's 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 a blessing actually to to do it in real life. But now it's a lot more. Uh, I can do a three in a day. It's a lot more efficient. Yeah, so of course. You yeah. lose a lot of stuff. I prefer to do it in person, but on how much I get back with not doing it in person, mm-hmm. I feel that it's worth it. And also it's like so much costly to do it in person. <laughs> Imagine guys, yeah. flights, all this stuff, hotels, in the United States is expensive. So that's why we spend like- well, 50, some people, <laughs> Some people do it in person without all these problems. Like Lex Friedman, for example, yes. and Joy Rogan. Because yes, they but have, they are big enough and, they know, and the people are willing to travel to them yeah, most of the yeah. time. And so they, that's kind of the goal with this podcast as well, uh, in the yeah. future, to be in real life podcast as well. So you have to build another room next to your house here and you can yes. them. <laughs> or it would be the same expense, but it would be for the, for the people. But the people are willing to spend two days to come to you if you are Lex Friedman, if you are- yeah. But you will have to pay their flight, their stay. Maybe <laughs> you can pay the flight, but they're willing to come because maybe he has become a millionaire now, let's say because of the other channel. But even if he keep like having two, 300 of views, nobody would sacrifice two yes. days of yeah. their life. Yeah, not, yeah. not just the money sure. and you pay the ticket. Uh, but uh, actually uh, well, that's not true. Not exactly. If, because when I said to, uh, uh, what's the grandpa's name that you said? Peter, no, Gray. Peter, Peter Gray. Gray. To come in Cyprus, I would pay for his flights. He said, uh, he was like, a lot of people are like, because these are kind of intellectual, but they're not very. Uh, yeah, he never know. get very much, many views, like more than a few tens of thousand, I guess, Peter Gray. Yes. Says. So what, when I told him to come to Cyprus, he was like, oh, I've never been to Cyprus with my wife or something like that. So people would like it like a vacation. Yeah, stuff. maybe Cyprus but, itself because it's, it's But also somewhere exotic. in the United States, if it's like something and cool, you're going yeah. to like a vacation. Yeah. I think these people, you know, one thing that I discovered, uh, I thought that I was, the first time I was uh, with Lenore Skenazi, it was uh, one of the first people that I did podcast in, in the real life. And I was asking her like, how are these intellectuals behaving? Because she has a lot of friends, she hosts a lot of gathering in her house. Yeah. And she said like, actually these people are like very normal people that like, uh, they are okay. If they are very excited when you just listen to them because they just, uh, they don't find everyday people, they don't 
uh, care about this stuff. Yeah, you would imagine so, them being so, superstars. So they ju- yes, you think in your head that they're so smart and a superstar and they think that they're a career in, in the world, but actually it's not. And like, that's why I think they love doing podcasts even with 300 views. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, okay, if, if you think about 300 views, it's actually, let's say, actually 100 people that sat down and hear the whole conversation that you had, which is like, the, you are dying to, okay, to, yeah, of course, 100 to people speak listen. to Why a room of 100 people. But uh, yeah, it's it was striking to me to understand that there are just fucking regular people. Yeah, yeah. And that I treated, and that's kind of giving me confidence that these smart people the most intellectuals in the world. They just sit down to speak yeah. with, <laughs> with me. Yeah, you would it's, imagine them. It's like a, I found a cheat code to the matrix or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would imagine them being like 100 times different than you and they're like only one and a half time different than you. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think this happened with everyone. Every, all people are people. I mean, we have a body, we pee, we eat, we have the same needs, so it cannot be. Even Elon Musk. <laughs> all the people that are even like Elon specialized Musk. on even something, Plato, even they are amazing. Hmm? Like all, all the people that are specialized on something, it's amazing to talk to them, to see. Yeah, because, because they, they have know so, so much, much. passion. Yeah. And the thing is that, can you imagine how many people are like that out there and they've never been to any pot that nobody knows yeah. about them? If you imagine so, so many academics, so many, and I'm sure they're superstar outside. And that's one of my goals in the future. Now do, we don't have enough time to spend on this because we need to make the other channel grow and all this stuff. Cool. Slowly, slowly, we're going to put more and more effort in the channel. But uh, to find these unique people that you are saying. Yeah. Because there is people that no, never say, heard, uh, it's just one person that is uh, alone in their house and they're reading for uh, 20, 30 years about a specific topic and they are so yeah. knowledgeable and they will be amazing and the podcast will get so many views because nobody ever in the world had. And we just, I think uh, what we do is like, we're just recycling guests of other podcasts. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you are. But, but even some of the, like, like, let's say some of your guests that they never been to a big pot, like Sugada Mitra. Why Lex Friedman and, and Joe Rogan and the big ones never invited them? Or, you know, Stuart Firestein, for example. It's an amazing concept of how, how, how science works and how, how is ignorance uh, driving science and, and uh, what is other concept? Ignorance and failure. I mean, yeah. it's, it's, it's incredible. I never saw him in big podcasts. And, so even, even those that we know, you can't imagine how many other thousands of people like them are out there and they have never been outside f- yeah. exposed to the, to the world. I mean, it's, yeah. it's a pity. And in another languages that we are also, also yes. reduced to. Yeah, but even many of them, they can really speak good English and they could be in a, 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 any podcast channel. And still you don't see them. I'm, I'm sure there must be thousands and thousands of super... I mean, super knowledgeable and super good communicators too. And and they are not And I think that's one of the things with now, I think we kind of found the format that we can make people interested into, like, I don't feel that because we bring some very good names and they're performing as much as other names. Sometimes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So why not? So it's not uh, about the name a lot of the times. So we can bring these unique, but, beautiful people that never someone heard of them. But where to found them? Where to found them? <laughs> it's the problem. Put an announcement. If you feel that you are an amazing community. Yeah. <laughs> but those that they are, they are not going to come because they will not think or they will not try. Uh, maybe, try but them. maybe maybe some of them yeah. will find them. I'm sure because there must be many, many. So some of them maybe, some of them maybe are not interested. Maybe they don't care. Maybe they think my students are enough. Or like, and I educate my students and like Harari was thinking, like <laughs> when he was writing his book, he said, it's good book for my students to understand what I really want to say. Yeah. And, and then thought that he, 20 million Kobe so <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so <laughs> maybe more. <laughs> he would never imagine that this will- Really, he go, just wrote his books for his- In the uh, beginning, he didn't think that this will go beyond my, my students or whatever. <laughs> I just need to clarify- Sapiens was like this. I he wrote it for his students. The kind of, he, I start, I think he started like that. <laughs> of course, he didn't really know in the beginning that he's so, such a gifted person. <laughs> Maybe he imagined it, I don't know. But I think he, he said that he really? really started like with this goal. But it's written to be like very popular. Maybe, 
maybe it's so easy to understand it like you want to you, keep reading because he's that because he, type of person because he's that type of person wow. because he's a good communicator oh, period i mean whatever he do it he's such a so simplifier such a good simplifier of things but i i think he said somewhere that he really would never imagine it i mean he really did it to explain that's why maybe it's so successful because he did to explain to 17 years old the whole history of the, of, uh-huh. the, of, the of, of the humanity another thing hmm. that i think we are missing a bit the mark sometimes is we are choosing people like only from united states and uk and there is so many people around the world like i don't know in dubai you know there's so many countries that they have uh, successful people and like intellectuals or something about history. And we don't have access to them I mean, because of the so, language. I mean, who, no, but they speak English probably. They but speak, what, what, how but do I you... Want, I don't want this to be this part. I want this to be an international podcast for everyone. So you have to go and listen to like German. Like for example, we're going to have like a, a person about talking about the history and the corruption in our country. Why not to have a person talking about the history and corruption about Italy, ah, oh, you about mean, Greece? Okay, okay. About, yeah, like, yeah. Like, the pa- it's like the Pakistani guy. Yeah, okay. like, yeah kind of. But it's like, uh, I don't want this to be strictly on just some, f- because uh, there is, yeah. But many times the language, I remember with Freya when she was, because she's German, she was sending me some names to the- Freya is the ex uh, person in the team. Shout out. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. And she was sending me sometimes names, uh, that people that she thinks that they're amazing, they would be good in the podcast. And I was researching, I, I couldn't find anything at all in English. And so I, I, I was telling her, or sometimes I found some things in English and the English was terrible. And, and so, so how, and how could we know about them? Even if they speak perfect English, if they never publish something in English. Or you, you, they never uploaded something in English. How, how can you get- This happened once with um, this girl uh, about drugs and about the cult. Yes. You yeah. met her you in met her, just, yeah. I met her in real life. Just, yeah. Yeah. In the yeah. airport. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was doing seven days in And it was an amazing it thing. It was one oh, of the best podcasts <laughs> yeah. ever. Like, amazing uh, story. <laughs> fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So this is what I mean. Like there is a lot of people. Like, if you add them in the list, I was talking about more like people that they're- like academics and people that no. you could find them. But if you ask, add them in the list, people, then, then there are millions of people out yes, there that you can, yes, yes. not just hundreds and of I thousands. And I think this, the podcast should be about everything. But else. how can you spot, how could you spot this lady if you was never traveling with this plane? Well, sitting there is next a to way, you? there must be a way. There <laughs> must be a way. <laughs> I mean, you, you can use like your main channel. You're n- yeah, now going to be like the- being a digital nomad. <laughs> so you are going to meet a lot of people from a lot of countries. Like maybe it's, yeah, like- it's difficult when you're just for the people you know. It's like, yeah. Let me make a, a correction. Digital. Digital gypsy. Gypsy or digital hunter gatherer. It was my- <laughs> <laughs> so we proposed names to, to name and he came out with G- Digital gypsy. To give people context, I <laughs> became a digital nomad. Guys, I left my place in Los Angeles and now I don't have a home. I'm just a digital gypsy, apparently. Yeah, a bit fake because you, when you're ever you need to go to your parents. So you have a base. You are not a hundred percent. You make me like a child. You go to your parents. So whenever which is you, true. <laughs> but still, nomads always have a base anyway. <laughs> so you're a semi-nomad. But I, I like more the digital hunter-gatherer, if you want to yeah. promote this term, because I love hunter-gatherer. You have to hunt people for the podcast. Gather no. Or gather. <laughs> gather. Well, <laughs> or hunt them down. Bring like them. Like for Drag example, them. <laughs> Uh, there is so many people, uh, for, I think Nasdale is good at spotting some stories uh, about these people random. There is like, for example, billionaires in India that they, are, they speak very good English and they are never heard on an English podcast. And they're fucking billionaires, like uh, very successful and they run teams of 100,000 people and they will be happy to do it. But, when but it's those like, ones you can spot somehow, but all the others, how can you spot them? No, you can uh, you can spot as much. I understand. I understand. So it's, uh, for example, what Nas Daily was doing. He was, I don't know. I mean, we're just brainstorming here live. But uh, <laughs> what Nas Daily was doing, he was telling me that he was making um, gatherings in every country that he was going. Yeah, to bring people together and meet the culture and all the stuff. But he was asking them like. 20, 30 people here. Guys, do you know anything, any interesting people here in this country? Like, do you find, I was like, 
They taught him randomly, oh, there is one weird guy that is Tarzan in the forest. Oh, I'm going to make a video about mm. him. Like 30 million views, the Tarzan video. Like there is some, uh, there is some ways probably to do yeah, some yeah. of this stuff, especially when you have a global community. Yeah. yeah. Also about not only people, but topics, because maybe we are interested in consciousness or history or of this. Yes. But maybe we should make a podcast about how to um, uh, do uh, honey and how to <laughs> yeah, yeah, do the bees yeah. and all of this. Yeah. You know, it's interesting uh, for me. It's like one, if pers the rule, if, is a, if a person is passionate about what he's talking and yes. he's knowledgeable, actually uh, spend all, a lot of his life, it's like I never get tired of listening. Yeah, yeah. And when you speak or spot these people, it's like... Uh, yeah, there's no privilege in, in subjects like... Like some of them are, are higher value, some of them are lower value. Any subject, if it's the other person is passionate and puts you into flow, then you... Yeah, we like a bit more philosophy, but... Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, but you don't know how philosophy sparks in your mind. I mean, if you talk about bees and honey, maybe it will spark things in your mind that relate how to... How bees, uh, how we are a civilization like bees. For example, yeah, we are you yes. social species. You social but, animals. But still, if you speak about like honey making, not like you, you sociality in, in bees and whatever, this kind of intellectual concept, even with mundane, let's say, mundane, like subjects, it can also spark you, like you found analogies of, of things. So... Even with honey in your mind would create anything that can be related to the universe or whatever. So we shouldn't like classify knowledge as high level and low level and mundane. No, that's right. Just be passionate about it and just talking about things. And, and you can also find audience like if, if they speak about bees and honey, you may find people that they're interested to listen to this thing because it's more relaxing, maybe not so difficult. And, who knows, yeah. Because uh, people appreciate also passion and communication skills by themselves and the subject itself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and this go back a little bit on like the people watching podcasts, if they are actually learning or not. I think people are like people watching Lex Freeman, they are watching it because it's like two curious people talking about things. About things in general. It's not about the topic, like if it's uh, yeah, you yeah, are yeah, not yeah. going to yeah, oh yeah. aliens and I don't know, openings and <laughs> yeah. so on. It's just... That's why some people follow Lex Friedman in general, period, Lex Friedman, regardless who will be the guest. Because they know Lex Friedman is interesting, the guest will be interesting, they will talk about whatever they will talk, will be interesting anyway. So uh -huh. they want to listen to two interesting people talking, they trust that it will be interesting because they know. Yes. Maybe that's why, like, I'm sure there's just, for sure, one million of, like, or, a few hundreds of Definitely thousands. Definitely, one million but on the platform. The platform that they follow on, like Lex Friedman. Spotify and all these things. Like, they are like just following Lex Friedman, not the guest, like the combination sure, of yeah. the two. Yeah. Future of this podcast. 2023 <laughs> was our first year. Some funny projections where we will be in one year. We're going to make this in the end of 2024. No. <laughs> we will be in the same. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we'll be like a very successful channel. Or, may, or, or very... Uh, or very the same. The because same. lower cannot go. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, let's yeah. see. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, for, for me, the aspiration is to, is to achieve this... Uh, these ideas having sex to, to bring people from totally different, like totally different uh, fields of knowledge, just talking to each other about their ideas without having anything in common. I would love to see this, like an intellectual explaining to another intellectual something that they never heard about, like somebody that's like, for example, Peter Gray, that's very much into education, explaining to Bernardo Castrap, why schools are obsolete, for example. It's, it's a, a, an interesting mind talking about something that first time they listen about. Yes. Would, for me, this would be like very interesting because I never saw this actually in other... Usually the people bring... The people, there is a reason to bring... Yeah, that both. they have debate or they agree or they d disagree, but they are in the same field. So I would really like to see these ideas having sex 
I mean, in it manifested in its more extreme cases, like people that they, they discuss about their, okay, they explain their radicalish or uh, non-mainstreamish ideas, which many of our guests are these kinds of people, partially because of my character that I like. I, because I choose mostly the guests, I'm this kind of person. So I like radical and, and uh, you know, extreme people. So like explaining, like, for example, like, like Stuart Firestein explaining why science works in the way, not in the way you think it's just like working, like following failures and, and ignorance. Explaining to Pinker, for example, or Pinker, like, like Peter Gray explaining to Pinker why we don't need schools. Like, I would love to see these kind of things. I don't know why I think I thought about Pinker now, <laughs> because it's one of the- Conservatives. Most, He's conservative and very intelligent and would have very interesting ideas to say about anything. <laughs> but okay, Pinker came to my mind for some reason, <laughs> for an interesting reason anyway. So what do you think about What, what about, ah, I think it's a- It was a breakthrough, I think. Because I, I, I think we need, like, as we understand, we need to try everything. You remember this guy who brought together uh, Slavoj Žižek with who? With, uh, with, with uh, With the physics, oh, with Carol. Yes, and Carol. Sean, Sean Carol, yeah. I mean, Savoy Zizek with Carol. I mean, physics hey, is philosopher with a physics. But the philosopher, not philo moral philosophy, like more like, uh, like political philosophy with physicist, which is going and towards that what philosophy. went very well. It got 200,000 views. Yeah. In, in the a cha channel like ours. Yeah, in a channel like ours, yeah. Yeah. And it was very interesting. I mean, they were talking more about the philosophy of quantum mechanics. Zizek, I mean, Zizek, I mean, it's so interesting. Yeah. Okay, Zizek would be funny and, and interesting talking about anything, I think. It's brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's such a, such a brilliant <laughs> guy. But, but still, I mean, can you imagine uh, like Peter Gray explaining to Zizek why we don't need to have schools? I mean, <laughs> would be uh, so interesting. <laughs> yeah, I agree. We need to try this. Uh, Found the way to try this. And we need to convince them that it's a good idea as well. Yeah. But I, as I understood this intellectual, they, even without uh, a video, they accept to talk to each other. It's like, in general, some, yeah. in general, it's something they want to meet other people because a lot of times their life becomes very boring. They go to laboratories, they do write papers and they don't have the, uh, these- uh, Yeah, people to it's, listen it's to. It's a new, new, very exciting thing for uh, the science community yeah. and these people, the intellectuals that happened, the podcast, it kind of gave light to them. It yeah, made them a superstars in a way. Yeah, but the way, the problem is that some of them wouldn't maybe risk it to, to come in unknown territories and, you know, and, yeah, yeah. and charge the waters, like to, like to tell them, look, there's this weird guy who talks about the, that we, schools are obsolete and we don't need education. And, and, come talk to him, maybe they, they're afraid that they will not be prepared enough. So some of them would be maybe hesitant to do this, like going in a territory that they are not prepared and maybe they're afraid not to be ridiculed or, or caught that they are ignorant. And But I'm sure they're brave enough people around, like Castro. Like Castro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jesus, what do you think is the future? Uh, Uh, I don't know, like what I would like to see more is uh, a bit of what happened with Bernardo Castro in the comments. I would like to have like a like a community of people commenting in the videos. Yeah, that was beautiful, man. That was very beautiful. 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 It, it was like a second podcast yeah. inside of the comments. And I I didn't understand any of the comments. <laughs> Everyone was so smarter than me that wrote the comments. I'm like, bro, I feel so embarrassed that I don't. I sent you, and I, I translated it into, into Greek. I don't know if I said, I was thinking, I, I did it, I don't know. I, don't know. I, I translated it to Greek and I sent it to the Google <laughs> Translate. I don't know if I did send it to you, but a, a huge comment was, was like, It was like, it, it was a scientific, a philosophical paper by itself. <laughs> just, just this one comment. But like he, I mean, he should publish it instead of putting it just as a comment. It was unbelievable, man. <laughs> it was so summarizing all this. With bibliography at the end. Almost with bibliography. I mean, it was amazing. But it was so beautiful to, to just follow this cast yeah. It was just like, uh, it discovered the community of people. Like, yeah. It's amazing. I'm like this in every amazing. podcast, like to have actually a conversation yeah. after after, yeah. after the podcast is done, 
It would be beautiful. And I think if we manage to do it, then uh, we succeeded. Or even, to have like a hard rock community. Or even to create a community because of your episode. Would be even more like so well, tempting. Yeah. What do you mean? People that come to see Bernardo Castro and people that see come to see Avi Loeb and they become meet together. one like part of each other's community or a new kind of gender of community. Like mm-hmm. okay, the, the Castro thing was like I think there was an already existing community and we just yeah. put them together. It was not just our creation, <laughs> but you can't create like if you especially if you do these combinations of people. And also the the comment section on that was very honest with Avi Loeb and Bernardo Castro. And the other one. Oh, no, we yeah. speak about the pure Castro now. Yes, yes. but also yeah. the Avi Loeb and Castro also, was yeah. very yeah. interesting to uh, to hear that a lot of the people felt that uh, Avi Loeb didn't get the point of the yeah, conversation. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's very interesting. Or even, 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 even comments about the character. Yes. That, that Avi Loeb was more like, he found in you and, and more in Castro, people to listen about his problem. So he was talking more about his problem, more like complaining more than he should. Because he <laughs> found people that they really <laughs> understand his problem with all these people that they're trying to, <laughs> to cancel him and ignore yeah. his points. Okay, it's, it, it's fair enough because he's talking about aliens in a scientific way. Of course, we would expect all other scientists to like to, to try to cancel him. But he found people that they listened to him and he became even more emotional than any other, other time explaining his problem and why people don't listen to him. And, and it's interesting to see people in the chat, like in the, in the comment, noticing this and commenting about this stuff. And yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. If we talk in 2024, like in the end of the year, and we have on average 10,000 viewers, on every podcast, so, that would be a big success. So this is your, your your ultimate goal? No, for I think for for this is like it would be a, a very powerful thing by itself to have like like what he said a community of people that come in every podcast, ten thousand viewers, and it will give us the opportunity to bring also bigger guests uh, to for the podcast. So. I think that's kind of not that's that's kind of very appealing as a goal for. But you you see you see like like cup like few tens of or couple of tens of thousand would be like a, a very good thing for you to see in front of you like at the end of this year or is it too much for a goal or is too. What do you mean? You, like to have an average of twenty thousand or ten thousand of. Viewer, I think it's achievable or is too much or is. I think it's achievable. I think it's something that is achievable. What do you think? Yeah, it could be. Yeah, like because we're slowly learning as well. Some of the stuff we're improving. But it's it's, it's algorithm. I mean, uh, who knows? Yeah, but uh, the soul of the uh, algorithm. A lot of the time, you is all about. I hope the the algorithm is not conscious yet. (laughs) 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 And I'm sorry, algorithm. (laughs) I'm not the one to insult you. (laughs) Favor us, please, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, huh. No, the thing is that I'm, 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 I'm serious about. It. I mean, even if we become so good, deserving to have few of tens of thousands, maybe the algorithm will not realize it, <laughs> or it's not enough for the algorithm. I don't know. But if we really deserve, maybe the algorithm is smart enough to understand. Yeah, I think so. I think yeah. so. But it's, it's crazy that some of the podcasts get 30,000 views. Yes, that's what I'm afraid. And the, the next podcast is getting That's what I'm views. afraid of. So it's, uh, yeah. uh, it shows that we didn't build a community yet of people that are, are watching yes. it. They say, maybe they know, oh, it's this guy that did Bernardo Carpsa. Now he did this. Like, just, oh, this guy. It's, it's, uh, so yeah. we don't have uh, people. You we started a- getting uh, one comment every podcast, the same person, like, say, uh, saying somebody is not <laughs> consistent this community that we see so i yeah this is maybe you didn't build uh, you, uh, an image kind of like like lex friedman he, everyone knows his personality 100 percent they know who to see and, and and really it's interesting what is your image you think like like okay let's say what is let's free lex friedman Com- selling comment to? guys what do you think is my image on the podcast if you made it that far it's obvious, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I have a VR headset on. <laughs> oh, we didn't talk about didn't the VR. notice about it. Yeah, guys, did you notice that he has three eyes instead of two? <laughs> Something is wrong with this person. 
<laughs> no, no, no. I mean, let's say, let, let's say Lex Friedman or Joe Rogan that they are very much personality, like uh, personality focused channels. What what is for you Lex Friedman, for example? Who, what is he selling? You think? Can you can you pick? Can you portray the, like like his picture of what he's really selling? Yeah, I think he is selling a very passionate human with very strong moral compass that he is trying to do a hundred percent what he thinks is right, and he has a very funny way of love and silliness and black and costume to present himself. Sensitive. I would, if I have one word, it's like a sensitive person. A sensitive person? Sensitive, cur curious person. Which is not corrupted by fame and whatever. Uh -huh. He stays simple as it is. And like a, he described he, he himself as a, I'm just a silly kid who is trying to make sense. <laughs> so what is your, what is Joe Rogan, let's say, just to have another example. Of. What do you think is Joe Rogan? Genuine. Genuine, genuine authentic, I think, mm -hmm. authentic, funny, funny, and all his background of ex, like he's also a comedian yeah, yeah, and a wrestler, like, and so it's is really this guy of UFC that uh, yeah. yeah yeah who is still so in, it's, body it's his brand is something uh, what uh, he did honest man. Man. and the combination of like a badass but also very intellectual in the same time, yeah, yeah. which makes him and. and so openly honest. And also stupid as well in a way that uh, stupid questions and all this stuff. But I think this stupid, I mean, he pretends a little bit sometimes. Uh, huh. uh, because he's sometimes so deep thinking, but maybe it's just genuine, just let it be and whatever question I have, I just say it and I don't know, I don't know. I don't know if he, you think he's both of them, Friedman and, and Rogan, they are genuine a hundred percent what they are or they just, selling something to us and they are not like that or maybe they pretend to be genuine i think it, i think it's very difficult to hide uh, to make fun to all these millions of people because we i feel it like okay it, i also feel it 100 percent i'm they're my yeah, friends yeah, so i see them every day i know them so well <laughs> it's like our friends imaginary friends yeah yeah so okay so what is your what what image you can be i don't know should i go back to blue hair <laughs> <laughs> or never put this Pink. out. No, or never put out the VR headset. Yeah. Just, just put it for the for the podcast, <laughs> especially. Uh, no, the the pink will be better, as you can see. We love pink. In pink this. hair, you mean? <laughs> yeah, I pre I would prefer you with pink hair instead of of uh, blue. Light, blue cool. light blue. In the yeah, in the beginning, I mean, it, it got like slowly, slowly changed the color. If you notice. The beginning was blue, and the story slowly became like more blonde. <laughs> so I don't know which which shade which shade of. So what do you know. think, like about? No, this, no, uh, no. I think we are kind of partially making fun, guys, but we actually partially, mean, partially. Uh, mean this stuff. Like it needs to yeah. find a way to present my personality in in an artistic way as well. Also, the way in that I carry way, yeah. myself in the podcast. For people to understand that this is just a stupid kid that is just so curious to understand the world and like learn about we need to find a way to portray it more because a lot of the times people don't understand that like uh, that they think that they think i'm not allergy but i think i am allergy no they they they, <laughs> they they think that you are i'm afraid not for people not to think that you are somebody who thinks that is a very deep intellectual, you just cannot do it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they will hate you about this. Say, ah, this guy is why, why he thinks yeah, yeah, yeah. he think that he's clever, he's stupid, he's, uh, he's not so good in articulation, he's not good. And he's now talking to Bernardo Castro yes, and Avi Loeben. In the, the comments, the so you, mad. Yeah. I can't believe that this guy is yeah. talking to yeah. Avi Loeben. And not I, me. And, uh, Sometimes yeah. they envy you. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Why yeah. this guy? I'm, I'm a PhD. PhD holder, I'm so good speaker, I'm a, and I don't have the chance to talk to Avi Loeb. And this guy, this stupid, <laughs> silly guy, we just go back to his main channel to see how silly he is, if you want. And yeah. you see how he cannot talk, and he has this privilege, and not me. Maybe some people will envy you. So maybe you have somehow to present this thing, but not always say that I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stupid. Yeah. It's funny way to like. For example, the costume on Lex Friedman, the blackness of Lex Friedman, it gives you the vibe. Yeah, you don't it. really need to, just to see this guy who is always dressed like a, like a... What if I put one of these glasses that they have a nose? Uh, 
<laughs> or dressed like, or a, like, like a clown. A, a clown nose. <laughs> only the nose. <laughs> only the nose. <laughs> I think that's funny. Maybe. We, because that kind of presents yeah, yeah, yeah. like this. You don't need to explain. Just like, 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 like images like worth hundred words, like thousand words. Yeah, yeah, This yeah. kind of An thing. Y- yeah. You don't need to explain all the time I'm stupid. You know, I see you with the nose there. Like. <laughs> w- why you don't consider to, to put it in the, about the channel kind of, you, you, you left it empty. I, I, I propose you to put something there. You can write whatever you want and put it there. We can put it. Of course, I'm you. the brain behind. No, no, <laughs> even a banner. Do, do you have, we have a it's banner? in love with learning. Oh, you have a banner there, yeah. No, in love with learning is good, leave it. It's very good. But to show that you are like, not only love, like, like you are, you don't care if you are stupid, because this is what you are. You don't care if you don't understand. You are burning to learn like crazy, because you are burning to learn like crazy. This defines you so much. I mean, you want to learn anything. You just, just you are addicted to learning. You think that? I know, I know. Yeah. Like you, you, you are addicted to learning. Like you, are, you are like for you like sex. I, I understand. Like so, so you have to. Pre- I can go a lot of the months guys without sex, but when I go for days without listening a podcast to stimulate or read a book or have a stimulate COVID, I feel that I'm the worst person ever. No, no, you are the ultimate curiosity. I mean, you can't find more curious. What sometimes I, I talk to him, and I just make a parenthesis. I say, for example, this and this and that. Close, but no, don't, 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 don't close the pile. Don't know. I want to know exactly everything about this thing. What you say now? He changed the subject totally. Like just to know everything about this little detail. I say because he, you are so curious. I mean, this is so. By, ge- by the way, it's a bit. Uh, he's my physics teacher, guys. For everyone that doesn't know, we, we met at school <laughs> yeah. six years ago, and he was ta- he's teaching physics in high school. But he was like this from the first moment. I mean, even in the classroom. I mean. I remember he was coming in the class. Okay, he, he was not his, he was, physics was like not your main subject. So we could like not deal so much with the curriculum. But when he was coming to the class, I mean, he had a little paper all the time with questions about anything. And he, he, I mean, most of the lessons were dealing with him, with his question and like some of the- Yeah, but we, I agree with you. We need to find a way to portray this because when this is just a young guy that is uh, whatever, Present yeah, himself like with a lot of confidence yeah, yeah. and all this stuff. They think that, oh, this guy thinks that he knows everything, but that's not the, 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 so you, the case. It so can be like kind of to find declare that, that I am a stupid guy who, the only thing I really have exceptional is my, my boundless curiosity and burning an addiction towards learning anything. Because addiction to learning is not like you, you want to learn because you want to be knowledgeable. You want to learn because you really need it. It's like, like a drug for you, the process of learning. This is what I understood about. Some people say like, okay. But you don't have the same thing as well. I have it, I think. Not in the extent you have it. I have it, I, I don't, I cannot see myself. Difficult to watch yourself. Self-awareness, as you know very well. <laughs> you are the champion, <laughs> you present. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm making fun of you guys. No, I'm not making fun of you, you got it. You, you got it very good. You couldn't communicate it very well. You understood what it means self con- self awareness. So so, okay. Let's close this parenthesis. Don't ask me to, to elaborate. I'm going please. to put the video on the link in the description for you guys to make fun of me that I talk about Socrates and the self awareness in one yeah. seminar. The less self aware pe- person on the planet. <laughs> 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 this is what Nas Daily was saying. Yeah. Well. I, I, he couldn't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> the most self less self aware. But <laughs> no, the things are okay. Let's put it in the right place. You are the less self aware person who understood very well what means self awareness, and you couldn't. You understood, you are not self-aware, but you understood intellectually what is self-aware. You know the without, concept, but... W- without <laughs> being self-aware yourself. It's a different thing. I mean, system one, system two, maybe, maybe question. Uh, Kahneman, we all found him, put, who said this first, editor. Uh, so, so maybe, but, but still, you didn't communicate it very well. <laughs> so what means self-awareness. Because self-awareness is more meta self-awareness than self-awareness. It's more like being aware of being aware that you are. It's not just self-awareness. It's not, it's not awareness. It's, it's, it's more like aware of being aware, kind of. 
Anyway, this is too much. I will close this parenthesis. I hope you will agree. My psychotherapist guys to point out like what what I'm not aware <laughs> <laughs> always. <laughs> okay, let's close this parenthesis. I forgot why we oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, so so why are we talking about this now? We're talking about his character. Uh, like how to be like character uh, for the Jesus, podcast. Jesus, which one was your favorite guest this year? You change the subject so much. You don't it's like a to podcast. Talk about your character. Let's finish about this. Right? You, okay, we need to find. We need to find. I will see which one was an my image. Hmm? I will watch which one was my favorite now. Ah, okay. Well, you speak. Ah, no, you are cheating. I also want to, watch. <laughs> I want to see. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so much. Okay, for me because I choose the guest mostly. It's not fair to say which one my favorite because it's fair, of course. Because the, the I, podcast, it's an art. I, which paint? But I like all like of them more. at the end of the day because <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so. so you, you have to find an image to have you. You need to have yes. people to come to the podium because of you, not because of the guest. Because, ah, Fidias now is bringing this guy. It's the clown. Finally, yeah, fi the clown bring, bring, uh, bring, bring uh, Hoffman. We, we never understand what Donald Hoffman is talking about. Now with the clown, with the idiot, with the stupid, with the semi liter Allergy. With Allergy, finally we will understand because he's a... And like, for example, when you watch Allergy... You immediately get that this is fucking <laughs> <laughs> like you watch you. I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. For you, it's not so obvious. <laughs> you, you are in disguise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> did you saw this? Uh, I sent you this uh, uh, Kurt uh, Jaimungal interviewing uh, uh, this theory of everything guy. You are going to interview after some days, hopefully. Uh, and he, he did you watch it? In, I sent you when he asked uh, Noam Chomsky what he think about the interview with Ali G, and I was surprised that he had no clue that it would be this guy. He thought that it would be an interesting, I mean, a, a serious uh, <laughs> journalist from BBC, and he <laughs> had no clue that it would be like this, this thing. And then slowly, slowly, he said, "I realized that <laughs> it was this kind of joke." And I want, I tried to be polite and not. Be, I, I didn't hate it. I really wanted to go, but they couldn't because I'm. Because he's such a sweet person, he couldn't. Then I tried to be as polite as I could with this guy who was deliberately making fun out of me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that he was so genuine. I'm mean, you know, He was just presenting himself from the beginning, like that he's a serious journalist, and they're starting to be like, <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, man. <laughs> I, I, I would really love to see the same thing with Borat. Borat interview. Borat interview. <laughs> maybe I should disguise myself as Borat. As Borat, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, yeah. Again, a copycat. You want to be a copycat? Yeah, yes. <laughs> want to invest something new. <laughs> yes. Bo both guys are the same, actually. Is yeah. It, it, yeah. <laughs> Sasha Byron. Sasha Baron Cohen. Baron Cohen is both. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, what's your favorite? Jesus, guess? I think. I was. Guys, I have to go and pee, I think. <laughs> We're going to cover you. Don't worry. Um, yes. now I don't remember a lot, like uh, what the podcast was about, because you, we have talked about how knowledge works, and it's not about memory. Uh, I, I remember Chris Mason. Chris Mason. Yes. Chris Mason. About the about aliens. Aliens in space. All of this. It was very interesting, and I really liked it. Like to edit it and to to do it. Now it was a long time ago, and I don't remember that much. But I remember that I liked it a lot. It was like one of my first podcasts that I really, really, really liked. And then the Bernardo Castro, it really touched me, especially for, for the ending part. And now Sugata Mitra, like it made me change my, my perception of, of learning. Like uh, uh, with this project that we are going to do in Burundi about bringing computers to the kids, I, I was not very convinced on, on like this self-organized learning, like, like people, like these kids, when there is five people with one computer, it's going to be better than a person with a computer. Because myself, like I've been all my life very individualistic, like trying to learn by myself through YouTube. And so I was thinking like, oh yeah, it's better that you have your uh, PC for yourself and that's it. But now I'm trying to, to change this mind and trying to maybe change my life into this more of like collective learning, collective knowledge that also Verbake talked about. So yeah, I think these four Verbake also liked it a lot.
These four are the, oh, the podcast. Oh, surprising right? that you like Varvaghi as well, and John Varvaghi. Yeah, it was very really good. I very do good. like him so much. No, this guy. He's so sweet. It's hard. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know why I don't like Varvaghi so much. It's too. I don't know. It's too moral. For, it's too. <laughs> it's too good for me. Yeah, because of the nihilism. Of it's course, I, I compare with the nihilists, which I like more. <laughs> Yeah, said, like no way, nihilism is no, no. He he said like not it's impossible that. to be happy with a nihilist. But how know. how how can you be? I mean, especially with a nihilist, you want to talk to to show. That, I mean, to expose them. If you are so much into meaning, like anti-nihilist, for sure. Uh, I mean, why? I mean, there there is where you will show that meaning is so important. If you really believe that meaning is so important, so. It, No, no, but he he said explicitly that he 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 doesn't want to do it with an analyst. He he answered about it. I don't think he answered. He didn't answer. But yeah. he said that in the podcast that we're going to do it with. Uh, he I told but him he to, for him to do a debate with a nihilist, uh, and then he said uh, he didn't respond to the messages yeah. after to do, but. Uh, Chris Mason, it's, yes, it was a very good uh, podcast. What, what, what was it was it? about space. But I was struck by, I liked this so much, but it was only ah, the yeah. ah, about views. people living, how people will be living. Yeah, amazing, then, scientific wise, it was amazing. Yeah, yeah, feeling. Yeah. How well, people have sex in space. And also, all also, his character, he was very playful. Like, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He responded to fun. your stupid question about sex in his face, yeah, uh, like, yeah. very, like, actually scientifically. And he said, like, uh, like the, um, the question about the trillion dollars, I think he, he explained it very well. Yeah, yeah. it was actually Probably a good answer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, but in that episode, I learned so many things uh, as a scientist, you know, all this practical information about it's amazing if you try to. to, to Bring people living, actually living in space. And so many details. I mean, all this about the energy, how you can absorb energy. If you from the sun, if you spread your body like all, all this thing I was talking about, how to get energy directly from the sun. Anyway, so many details about about biology you learn with this topic. I mean, how people really need to be in order to be able to live in space. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah. yeah. What else? It's crazy that uh, sometimes, for example, Chris Mason, like we loved it so much, and then it's like we were not able to get, have yeah. views. On it. So it's sometimes I feel that some of the podcasts, not all of them, <laughs> that they are hidden gems that yeah. we need to put everywhere as a billboard for everyone to see. And yeah, and uh, yeah. I feel I feel this very strong on on these episodes about education because I'm very passionate about it. it's my job about education and uh, these radical views like Peter Gray and Sugata Mitra and did you have anybody else like Leonard Skinner Leonard Skinner yeah about the guy about the case against education oh yeah the, the oh, also uh, yeah also yeah Brian yeah Kaplan. also the Brian Kaplan yeah Brian Kaplan and, Yeah, especially this Sugata Mitra. And also the other one, the one that was under I, John. Ah, yeah, 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 John Holt, yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Patrick Ferenga. Pat- Patrick yeah, Ferenga. Pat Ferenga. Shout out yeah. to everyone that, talk, that hates education. We have them all. <laughs> all <laughs> the, they, they don't hate education. They hate the education system, as yeah. it is. <laughs> Hating education is, it, it, it's my concept, I think. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, hating the idea of having education. Nobody talks about it. I think, no, okay, I will not open this parenthesis now. I don't think we need a separate word. Learning is enough. And, and uh, we don't need to have a separate concept, education, I think. Okay. Like, like learning. What, what, what means education? What's the difference between learning and education? In general, what, what, why we need this word? What, what means education? Do you understand, guys? It's like more certified, like that you have. Right. Yeah, but it's supposed to be. We don't really care about certificate. We 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 care about the thing in itself, mm-hmm. which is learning. So so I think it's a, a bit redundant this term in humanity and education. It's learning. What, what, what's the difference? Can you define the difference between education and, and learning? What's the difference between these two words? And why we need to have a separate word for it? Anyway. Education also. It, It's like a, about institution. 
Uh, yeah, but in my mind. So, so it's it's an imaginary thing. I mean, everything. Like, no, but the goal <laughs> of education is learning, isn't it? So, is the process is education? What what is? But, but I think it's more about the, the machine of creating jobs, like education. It's yeah there. to so give the certification. Yeah, to give learning the learning is not that signal, important. The signaling to, part of it, like mm. to to show that you. <laughs> to prove that you have learned, you have to go through education. <laughs> Maybe. Through education and through get education the paper of it. Okay, but you couldn't have only the word learning and say I'm learned instead of I'm educated. I learn and I have a certificate for of learning. Uh, then maybe we don't really need this word of education. That's what mm-hmm. that's what I'm working in my mind. If you have a certificate of learning somehow, why we need to call this thing education? Because if you call it. Education, then the rest of learning is not so good yeah. quality. If it's not not inside this education, which is not educate true. at least in Spanish also mean if you are educated is that you are polite. So education okay. also is like to okay, yeah, it, like a, to to put you in the good behave. path for society. You know, you are an educated yeah. person. You it, can it, learn ab- about terrorism it, and and learn very bad things. Or, but education, I think it's you are learning the right things that. According to what? According to the people that look at society, the, uh, the good thing for but this society. Not, but this is not, I mean, if you learn about the philosophy of mind, in, at school you call it education, it doesn't help you to be a better person or whatever, if you know what is consciousness or what is the, the hard problem of consciousness. But if you do it in the concept, in the context of school, it's more education. If you do it in the context of podcasting, you wouldn't call it education, but it's the same, the same, The, it, it's the same effect on you. Effect on you both, and, and I don't know why. If is this concept of education is 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 good or bad to have it like to separate knowledge in two, I mean learning in two parts: education, learning, and just learning. I don't you, know. You are saying this just to avoid the question: Who is your favorite guest? <laughs> no, I'm just opening the parenthesis because I, I was thinking about it lately. Why we need to, to go more radical than them? Like, <laughs> okay, to, because they, to say we don't really need to have the concept of education, and then just let learning be our our goal, and whatever kind of learning. If you could certify you are learning, you get from podcasting, for example, which you cannot actually. Because you have to go through education, and some people maybe are very knowledgeable because of things like podcasting. As we put, talk about podcasting, let's put this as an example. But you cannot certify this if you don't go through this process. So maybe it could be like learn whatever you learn. And if you want certification, then get the certification of learning somehow. So your favorite guest is? <laughs> <laughs> I will not tell you. <laughs> Of all of them, or of, of the education of the year, I cannot say this. Man. I say two, three that I'm, they stand against, out. I'm, I'm against classification of people. <laughs> Favor everybody is it, it. They are what they are. I know, but which touch your heart? I don't know. I mean, because I choose them sometimes. Bro, I can't. Don't I can't make our life difficult. I don't want bro. to. I, you can edit it out if you want. I don't want to. I, I can't. I mean. I, I, They will not feel bad if they are not mentioned. <laughs> I'm, sure they, will I'm sure they will never know this. <laughs> if they all of them, no, ima- imagine maybe some of the guests like me so much that they are watching the, the podcast and they become your your <laughs> community. Maybe who knows? I don't know, man. So I don't remember them. Also, maybe forget some of them. I need maybe to see your list if you want. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't. I think it's too much. Anyway, I cannot say okay. because I refuse to answer this question. And because I'm against classification of people anyway. In general. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> for me, I think Sukada Mitra was uh, was great. Uh, uh, I think uh, Donald Hoffman was amazing. Uh, it was not this year, right? Oh, no, D- Donald Hoffman was previous year. Yeah. What's so, you can mention? Uh, it was, uh, Bernardo Castro I think, uh, is the. Col- the coolest person, I think. Uh, I met a lot of cool people, but uh, uh, Avi Loeb was so was so good to for me that I went to his house. It was, was so amazing. He was really really enjoyed the conversation that we had. Um, but the porn star of uh, that she's an intellectual as well. The Eva Lovia. Uh, I forgot her her actual name. 
Candice. A very cool name. Yeah, but uh, as I was uh, saying this uh, stuff and you guys were talking, I think is it would be a crime to not mention kind of how closer we got us three because of this stupid thing that we ah, did yeah. the podcast. <laughs> yeah. It's an emotional moment now. No, it's not. <laughs> but like, imagine if we didn't do this uh, podcast. Like, uh, how close, like we... How many times I fought with Jesus about it? He's saying that I'm stupid about the title. Or like you are saying that I'm... You are stupid. I said I to you, you are stupid. stupid. And you said to Jesus that he's stupid. <laughs> Nobody said to me I'm a student. Why? You don't like me so much. <laughs> I also to want it. to feel stupid. Like, <laughs> why you discriminate against me? <laughs> and I think it's more of a collaborative uh, thing. And like a lot of people, when they see this podcast, they don't understand how much in the background. Which is behind, yeah. They think course. that it's just me. And I just wanted to emphasize that it's like, I feel that I'm actually one third of the equation. Mm -hmm. I think you are one third, you are one third, and I am one third yeah. of the equation. And probably that's equal also to the work that we put in, one third, one third. Yeah, but this happened with everything, I think. You cannot see behind the scenes by definition, by, by default. Mm -hmm. I know, but I think it's very important uh, to mention for- how, Can you imagine how many, other podcasts have similar things behind them. I'm sure I they have. I don't think so. I, you must have. I mean, a lot of the people that are doing them alone, they are... How do you have teams and they have people? But only the successful ones. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. And also another interesting thing that uh, uh, Joy Rogan was doing and Lex Freeman is trying to copy is like, just two, three people in the team. And that's it, they have the biggest podcast in the world. They have two, three people in the team. It's, it seems that think? Joey Rogan is, this is what Lex Friedman was talking about, Joey Rogan, that only two people, they have the biggest, is Jamie and uh, Joey Rogan. They have the yeah. biggest podcast in the world. Uh -huh. Let, let's talk about another podcast that we like so much and we don't know why we like him, Michael Shermer. <laughs> Why we like him so much? I cannot define why I like this guy so much. So okay, because it, because the others is it's extremely personality focused. Like like Friedman is like Friedman, Jorgen is Jorgen. Why 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 we like this guy so? Much? I think and he's not it, so successful. It, it, the channel so much like it is successful. He's not they insanely have like twenty fifteen thousand views. Every not ins insane. Not so many. No, it's not the average. It's, the average is less, I guess. And they have like two three a week. Maybe, yeah. But why we like this guy so much? Well, <laughs> for me, I feel that he's a personality himself. He's but an unbiased, kind of Socratic, uh, not, not Socratic, like uh, in a way, uh, gray personality. It's just uh, gray. there as, uh, as an old boomer guest. That also, he, yeah, also. That's I think that there is a personality attached to him. Uh, but, but more subtle, not so. Yeah, and also obvious. it's very interesting the way that he goes about his podcast. He doesn't bring guests, guys. He just bring people that they have new books. He bring just books, that's it. The people that they he, just... Uh, he invites them. books. <laughs> books, yes. yeah. Yeah, whatever book, but, but he, because he's such an intellectual, I mean, he. He is like he's into every topic, like the biggest specialist yeah, yeah, of the yeah. planet, and he he listened to the books while cycling in, in high speed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> it's crazy, man. Yeah. Do, do, do you recognize the guy? No, I couldn't find him. You couldn't find him? No, because I, I don't know how to spell his name. Michael Shermer, something. S H. Just write skeptic. S K E P T. Uh. I <laughs> see. There's so many people call like that, bro. <laughs> no chance. Yeah. Also, the the uh, shout out to what's the, the theories of uh, of what's the Kurt guy? Jai Mungal. Whatever. No, the other one that is. Is what? it this guy? No. Right. No. Absolutely not. Skeptic society. Give it to me. You're stupid. Skeptic society. Give it to me. I have this uh, with my... Oh, you have it with your... Uh, Michael 
Shermer. We're trying to go. Okay, Shermer. Okay. <laughs> What's the guy about that he's producing five podcasts a day about the. Not the descender. This one. Not the descender. The. Okay, one. this one, right? Closer to truth. Captain yeah, Madison. Yeah. Okay. Closer to truth. Yeah, but it's a different kind. It's very intellectual. Kuhn, what's his name, Kuhn? I don't know, but he accepted for us to have a podcast with him in the next year. Who? Yeah, Kuhn? The guy with Closer to Truth. How I did I missed this information. So it's... Super Jacob! Cool. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Man? <laughs> Jacob, <laughs> maybe yeah. he sent me, I didn't see the email. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. Wow, is this, this is a pinnacle of intellectual? <laughs> if you come, if you interview him, then it's after him is, <laughs> yeah. You know him? Yeah. I mean, let's finish with Sherman. So you know, you didn't recognize Sherman? No. The face. So no. you don't know him. You know closer to the, the guy. What is his name? Kuhn. Lawrence Kuhn, whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And another thing that I wanted to say that now because he is choosing the guest guys, we are only bringing intellectual people <laughs> here in the but podcast. In <laughs> but slowly, slowly, the goal is not only to bring intellectual people into Honey science. Honeymakers. Honey maker. to, yeah. Okay, you take this. Honeymakers. <laughs> Honeymakers. <laughs> Part of, of, of the people. Your brother is a honeymaker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not very successful one, yeah. <laughs> Still, yeah. <laughs> if he made honey, it's okay. He, but he has the bees. But I don't know <laughs> yeah, if he yeah, has yeah. honey. We have honey as well. But we have other products from your brother. We cannot complain. Yes. Lots of lemon, lots have of oranges. Olive oil. Olive oil. And so you recognize closer to two guys. Uh, for a, just, for, just to see what this is the intellectual podcast guys. But Joy Rogan is actually is a lot more broad. It's more about the uh, more broad in what. He's bringing fighters, comedians, any, anything goes in yeah. a way, which kind of this is the way that we want to go take yeah. it, but also with a mix of not only in United States, worldwide podcast. Yeah, but closer to truth is especially for understanding the universe, the, the cosmos, whatever happened. I mean, yeah, yeah. this is his goal. He always declared that I'm going, I I'm want to found, I want to be closer to truth, not closer to. Miss, miss, miss mixed martial arts or something so much yeah. politics or yeah yeah so so every is day he uploads uh, he uploads so yeah. much like we how make fun of him so much i don't know how he i think he interviewed people like uh, long interviews and cut it into clips or something kind of cut myself yeah. into but, but pieces it, it's impossible how i mean the quantity of intellectual content that he produces guy kind of, it's so much, so much. Okay, sometimes the same aspect. Like for mm -hmm. example, if you if you if you like uh, search for uh, is mathematics an invention or a discovery, you will find like twenty episodes on it. Or mm -hmm. I mean, so he, I think he invites people. He asks him a lot of things, and then he cut it into like into clips or kind of. So I don't know how he works, but it, it's impossible. So many years he produced so many. I mean, every day, every day, every day. Something must be something. And it's all quality things. I mean, it's all like very yeah, nice, it nicely to be made. Funded by a TV or something. It looks it's like something. Huh. Yeah, he has something else apart from that. No. Jesus. But I enjoy him very much. Anyway. I like Jesus. Him. So I'm, I'm going to ask both of you one question, and then we wrap up the podcast. So Jesus, how do you see yourself uh, with this podcast industry? Do you want? Did you fall in love with this? Do you want to do this for long term? If you leave this now, you'll be a miss in your life to not uh, do podcasts. How important this is for you? You would search life? for another podcast channel urgently <laughs> if we <laughs> fire you? Because yeah. <laughs> you cannot I live with for Lex Friedman. <laughs> 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 First of all, I thought you were going to ask oh, if I want to die of, of the three and dollar question. So I'm <laughs> I don't disappointed. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. <laughs> okay, no, I, I'm joking. Um, Partially the joke. Yeah, I, I, I told you, like, uh, now I'm not only editing the podcast, but also, like, do, doing short form uh, for the main channel and uh, long form. And if I had to choose to stay with one, it would be the podcast. Because I, I think lo long term, it gives me much more than, than any other thing that I'm editing. And you think. enjoy it too, or just it gives you, you enjoy much more the process of it itself? Or no, I, more, I enjoy the process like, of... For your growth and... Or the process itself? The process of editing uh, 
a podcast, I don't enjoy it as much as editing a, a story mm -hmm. a video. It's not, not as creative. It's not very creative. But you like it because of the of the, the content itself. To be exactly. Because to I feel like I'm learning. I feel like it's okay. going to be useful for my life. Okay. <laughs> uh, editing uh, the other videos, I think it's uh, good for my editing skills or storytelling mm -hmm. skills. Okay. So yeah, I, I would f feel like a bit sad if I had to stop a uh, podcast. And I, I would have to find... Um, like a, a, another thing that compensates for this like knowledge that I'm getting, which is very hard to find. <laughs> yes, <laughs> this something like that. Yeah. I would have to force myself to, start to listen podcast more yourself. to podcasts. Yeah, maybe start a podcast. <laughs> start me a podcast myself. <laughs> he, he hates being in front. Actually, I noticed when you are when we are uh, filming a main child video and all this stuff, you are not very comfortable. Uh, <laughs> in the camera but i feel you are very comfortable in a camera when it's about your ideas no like when talking, it's talking like, like this i prefer it to to yeah. uh yeah entertainment channel i don't see myself as a character in a video <laughs> 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 one time i turned the camera on him and he was like <laughs> but you are, you are a character in this video now we're doing now this This VR video. <laughs> no, <laughs> not the I'm big almost one. crashing my, the car all the time. <laughs> well, he's in the live stream mostly. By the way, okay. this is some content guy context that you don't really understand. It's too complicated of us to explain you your the thumbnail of the of, of the thumb of the video live stream will, in 30 days. Me in a VR headset. That's why I have it. For By the way, ones. that's why he has them. If you are yeah. interested, <laughs> <laughs> two hours after we started, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because uh, I, we are going to break the world record of being a VR headset, and we are live streaming for people to see that I'm actually doing it and I'm not faking the video. Tell us a little bit about your experience. No, we're going to have another podcast. Okay. Okay. You asking me questions about this virtual. When is getting closer to the getting end. yourself uh, becoming a cyborg? And yes, this kind of stuff. So let me ask you the same question. Like if I fire you, mm -hmm. what are you going to do after? <laughs> if I fire you from this podcast of mine, are you going to search for a different? Well, this is the highest form or, of learning that I, that I found in my life. Like now, okay, I watch some podcasts when it's something big, but like I don't really enjoy learning as much from podcasts anymore because I saw how much more interactive, how much gain I gain. When when you are the guest, it's like very very high for you are the learning. guest, the host. The host. We are the host, yes. So uh, I will. I will uh, so you don't enjoy po listening to other podcasts so much as the process of doing creating your own. I love it now because I kind of uh, see the how is the other person for studying purposes as well, uh -huh. but like. I don't enjoy it's, it's, it's like learning a different type of thing as much as learning what the guest has to say you know? except if the guest is Elon Musk Elon Musk yes Elon Musk or someone of those two three people that I, you are in love with in love with. yeah so your question you have school to go now right yes I have to declare that the, the fact that I'm, that I'm here now and not at school because I'm a bit late And it's a special day today. It's a day that the, the, the kids are not coming to school and we have like lectures for the growth of the teachers. And I believe like being here, I contribute more to, le to learning. To the tree of learning. To the tree of learning uh, <laughs> than being there. So if anybody tries to create problem to me, <laughs> my, I declare that my, I, I, my job is to create a small as more learning as possible. And I think this creates more learning than <laughs> me being funny. there. This <laughs> well, the question was more about how do you feel that you got, get all this knowledge and all this stuff and uh, you are teaching it to the kids. I do teach it. I know, you do teach it. So how do you feel that you are getting all this knowledge from podcasts and understanding all these concepts? And transmitting it to hundreds of kids. Which actually, was wrong. I, I I don't really teach it because what means teaching? Teaching is like, like delivering the curriculum. So I discuss it more with my students. Yeah, yeah. L like yesterday, we had a discussion about uh, the unreasonable effectiveness of mathematics in natural sciences. If you remember this concept? Yesterday, I was talking with my students about this, which is a product of 
being in, in, into this uh, this uh, podcasting culture, and that's how I got to know about all this stuff. And so it enriches me as a teacher, but not as as the formal part of my because formal part of teacher is just to deliver the curriculum. In our case, nothing else, almost. But as as in, as a more like a co learner or whatever a person that tried to care about the, the intellectual growth of my students by itself, not just delivering the curriculum. It's very much helping me. This, 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 the, the thing that I'm into this, this form of knowledge, definitely. Because you don't only understand these concepts, you understand what's the best way yeah, to yeah, yeah, deliver yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, to with Sugata Mitra, with all these uh, people. Not only them, in any way, dealing with podcast by as 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 a factor of creating podcasts like as yes. supposed to be so you are creating small podcasts yeah. with your students in a way being an active into podcast is like it's like it resemble the process of teaching somehow like try, trying to find the right question trying to find uh, i mean also preparing you to 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 for the podcast is like making you more like like a better teacher let me summarize it like this because we have only three minutes. Yes. So no, no, no trillion dollar questions and things like that. Yes. We have no time. No trillion dollar question. Would you like, like this that. question? Have you no. already? We are going to answer, answer it in 2024. Okay. In the in the Good for retention for the year. And we are going to make it a usual <laughs> podcast this one because it's just discussing about the okay, yeah. discoveries that we learn and all this yeah, stuff. Good. And ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You just saw how beautiful the background <laughs> of the podcast is. And we really, really, really enjoy spending time, as you understand, all together. So that was just us being regular, having fun and talking about this yeah, stuff. Actually. So I it have didn't to... feel at all like work at all. Yeah, this is all what, what we are doing all the time. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we love you guys. He's bye going bye. to school. Jesus is going to Spain. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>